Yeah. <clears throat> it's gonna be a long ass video. I think we are almost. I think we passed an hour, so this is gonna. We're just gonna call it a podcast in the in the <laughs> in the title. Okay. <laughs> the upload's gonna be a bitch. Um. This next game, we're gonna talk about it, and let me just say that if Dak Prescott does not show out by week, I was waiting for this game to come up. Like I was like, when is he gonna bring up Dallas? If Dak Prescott does not show up (laughs) and show out in the first six weeks, I think we got ourselves a new fucking starter, dude. I really do. I I think he gets benched. Huh? I think Dak Prescott might Who do y'all be. have? Don't, don't say Cooper Rush. No, I'm not don't gonna say... I'm not gonna say Cooper Rush. But I really think that if this man cannot show up and show out as much as I hate to say it, bro, I don't think that he's gonna be starting. No. Dude, and I you love gotta Dak start Prescott. Up. Like I love Dak. You fucking know that I love Dak. Remember that three and thirteen season when I wouldn't shut up? Remember last year when yeah. I wouldn't shut up? Yeah. I just. I think we have the better running game. I'm sorry, Christian McCaffrey's amazing. I know he is, but I think Ezekiel Elliott's a better uh, back. He's a power back. He's fast. He's he's a good back. Our defense is mediocre at best. Yeah, Um, at best, and like y'all gotta be playing y'all's asses off (laughs) to be mediocre. Yeah. Honestly, dude, and, like, the the one thing on that defense, and knock on fucking wood, dude, Sean Lee doesn't get hurt. Oh, no, man, I'm sorry. He's getting hurt. You can, knock on, you can knock on that fucking wood all day. He's going to get hurt. The moment Sean Lee is out of a game is the moment we start losing, dude, and that is the fucking worst. And that pisses me off. It doesn't piss me off for, that, or for like, when y'all going to let him go. I, dude, I don't think we're gonna because the thing is like he's such a fucking good player. He's so good He's always there man. He's reliable He's reliable when he's on the field When he's hurt, it's just not there dude yeah, Last year to be honest. all nine games we won or all seven games we lost let me say that all seven games we lost Sean Lee was out the nine games we won, Sean Lee played whole game. Nine, nine and seven. Fuck. If Sean Lee gets hurt, I really don't see the Cowboys winning this one. Uh, the reason I do see the Cowboys winning this one, though, is because Mr. Cam Newton Mr. L- likes to run the ball, not slide right, and then complain that he got hit. Um, I think if he gets hurt, Goes down with some sort of concussion thing again. Uh, they have no quarterback. Yeah, they got Garrett Gilbert and I don't even know the fucking third string. Yeah, I mean it's 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 not looking good for that man. Yeah, but the thing the thing is though, his cam has been durable his whole career. He's been so reliable, even as much as he runs. And, like, last year was kind of a scare. Like, yeah, the concussion thing, like, that shit was crazy. Like, I was like, damn, like, Cam actually, like, is coming out of a game. Mm -hmm. And, like, like, he's been hurt, don't get me wrong, but he's always played Mm -hmm. with, like, you know, hurt ankle, hurt leg. The whole back thing. Bad arm. Yeah, the back with the arm. Like, I don't know. I just feel like. away from him, man. It's just, like. You've got to understand, like, as it, when, when you do the whole running, like, when you run, you're not protected as a quarterback anymore. Yeah. And I think he needs to be more cautious, cautious about that. Um, maybe it's okay to come out of the pocket and run every so often, but not as often as Cam Newton does it, man. It's mm. you're trying to be Michael Vick, and you're too big for that, man. Yeah, but I also like they added that uh, that new QB coach. This I forgot, I don't know his name, but now he's he's staying more in the pocket. He's staying. I oh, granted the sc- fucking scary ass hit in the Patriots game. That shit was, you know, take that out. But you know, he's been 
like the throws have been looking better. His percentage is going up. Mm-hmm. Um, he got another weapon, and uh, he actually has a. They drafted that receiver, that DJ Moore. Mm-hmm. Like he didn't have a receiver last year. Like there was no one he could throw to. Except Christian McCaffrey. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm saying, like, not, like I said, I'm not taking anything away from Christian McCaffrey. I just think Zeke is a better back, and that's not even on bias. Oh that's yeah, just... that's 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 facts. That's 100. percent Zeke is way better back than Christian McCaffrey. And I think, like, even though the Panthers defense has gotten weaker over the years, ever since that Super Bowl year, they're still solid, man. Mm-hmm. They got Luke Kuechly in the middle. Man, he's everywhere. Everywhere you yeah. go, he's there. Honestly, I don't think Josh Norman was a pivotal part of that defense. He, uh, there. he was a system. I think he was, but it was system. And, you know, the Redskins, he was just... He was a system player. He, he There's nothing wrong up. with that. He picked Odell up. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so who do you have winning this one? I have the Panthers, man. I honestly, and I, it, it, I can see this coming to be like a shootout. Like I'm, mm-hmm. I'm like in my mind of the shootout, I'm going, I'm going like 24-21. Like it's that. like a field goal game. It's a field goal game to me, and I, I see the Panthers winning because I see Cam is improving. He's got more weapons. The defense is better than Dallas. And then Dallas, don't get me wrong, Dallas, I think, has the better offense overall. But, like, I just... What scares me, too, about Dallas is, um, I know it's not a, a huge thing, but with releasing Dan Bailey, you know, we're, we're putting faith oh in a whole... Oh, my God. We're putting faith in a whole new kicker. Now, yeah, granted, I... Granted, he was making, like, 60-yard kicks at practice... But a practice in a game, it's a very different situation. Yeah, you call the timeout at the late game before the kick goes up. Yeah. Shit. It's it's a whole different situation, man. And I I don't uh, understand why y'all released Dan. Like I understand he got hurt and all, and like well, he couldn't and, and make it. It was, but it he was, was still whole, reliable. It was the whole hurt thing, and then he has uh, a three point two salary cap hit or a cap hit. That was a big part of it because they're paying a dude who misses. They were paying a dude who misses more frequently, three point two million, and they're paying this kid like six hundred k, and he's making more or he's making hitting more field goals. So they're like, oh fuck, we'll pay less to do more. That's just how the Jones family I mean, works. Yeah, which is why I don't like Jerry Jones, but. No, I don't either. Fuck Jerry Jones. That's why I, also, I just got Jason tired. Of... If we lose, if we have a losing season this year and he doesn't get fired, he's not getting fired. If, if he needs to get lo- fired. If we have a losing season it's... and we get fired, I will 100% step away from the Dallas Cowboys. Stop. No, you won't. You're right. You I will won't. not. You're right. I won't. But I'll be very mad. <laughs> Write a very strong letter to the Jones family. <laughs> That's I, I I just I couldn't take it anymore, man. That's why I left. I was just like, I just gotta go to my second team. I'm tired of this shit. I'm gonna go be an Oakland fan if we fucking lose, so I can be disappointed in fucking California. <laughs> God, fucking a. It's okay. We'll we'll talk about that. It we're we're pretty far away from Oakland. <laughs> The Oakland game, but I, I, there's something I have to point out with that, with Oakland and Dallas. What? The fucking same team, dude. I mean, like, honestly, you're not wrong. High-powered offense, mediocre at best defense. Yeah. Uh, before John Bruden got there, a coach that didn't really know what he was doing. <laughs> And Gruden, we trust, bro. That's what they're saying. All right, so what game are we doing next? All right, hold on. I got to get to the team. We have the Chiefs and your favorite team, Zach, the Chargers. 
Fuck the Chargers, <laughs> man. Hey, yo, let me go ahead okay. and get this out of my system now. Fuck Philip Rivers. Fuck the way he throws the ball. I don't care what anyone says. He's not a Hall of Famer and he's not elite. That that throwing style is ugly. It is. It's terrible. Stop throwing fucking baseballs while you're out there, faggot. Honestly, like... I feel like... Philip Rivers in in the winning form in the winning form he's a poor man's Eli Manning because like I mean at least Eli Manning has one Super Bowl two Super Bowls mm -hmm. Philip has it so you know Philip Rivers is who they got instead of Eli Manning so yeah and Which I also just... makes you realize how old Drew Brees is yeah really old. And then, Patrick Mahomes, man? Dude, the young goat? The, bro, you got a fucking cannon. So, so our other friend, um, Sal, talked about this, how he thought he, that Patrick Mahomes wasn't going to be good. But, I honestly do think, I, I have a lot of faith in the kid. And it's not even because, like, formally, I was, like, a tech fan. It's, honestly, because I, I, think, I, that's... I, I think he can be good. I think that's why I think he's going to be good because, like, he was just on a shitty team at Tech. Like, their defense was complete fucking garbage. That's fair. The offense was fucking good, and he was the focal point of that offense. Yes, and I always hated – I hated when Texas always went to, to – when we always played Tech because I didn't – I knew if we didn't shut down that offense, we were going to lose. Or you're just going to choke like, in the fourth quarter. Like, you are choking the fucking – I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> but – it's like a I mean, you got Tyree Kill, and then you got. Okay, let me Kareem ask you. Hunt? Do you think? Do you think Kareem Hunt's gonna be a bust this year? Or like, do you think? Because some people are saying like he's not gonna be good. Like I, now okay. that he's on the map, so like I, now he's on the I radar. Had this, I had he's on team. Uh, I've had this conversation with one of the people I work with. So, with Kareem Hunt, what I think is gonna happen is I think he's gonna have he's gonna do the Todd Gurley thing where he did good his rookie year he's going to have a slump his sophomore year and then that third year and on he's just going to be amazing wow I think he has the I, I think that's what happens and if he does good this year I don't see him slowing down I think that I'm, I'm still kind of amazed you put like Kareem Hunt with Todd Gurley like that's, it's not that I'm comparing them I'm just saying that it's going to be kind of like that yeah I'm comparing okay. the situation, not the player. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But uh, I I think he's gonna have a down year, man. I think he only like, I it started last year too. Like he was taking the league by storm in the beginning. Yeah, I mean he was still the rushing the rushing champ. Well, yeah, because I mean like he had like insane games. In the beginning, well, like I you mean, can have those insane I mean, games, and then like have... half acid, which he did in my opinion. Yeah. In the later half of the season, like the second half of the season, is just half assed, you know? Yeah. I mean, he didn't half ass it. I mean, he did great. Like, had a great season, but like, to me in my eyes, he didn't finish strong. Yeah. That's why I feel I'm really iffy, but that's why when I was naming the weapons, you know, Tyree Kill, and then I was going to say Kareem Hunt, but I was like, uh, I don't know. It's like a 50-50 with me with him, to be honest. I'd be honest, then, I have the Chargers winning this one, and yeah, so it, I. it's straight up the defense, dude. Joey Bosa. God damn Joey it, Joey Bosa, uh, Ingram. Ingram. Um, I mean, uh, the offense... Their whole fucking... Their corner system is fucking godly. <laughs> yeah, yeah their whole Apparently fucking, the fucking Madden... All, all their fucking DBs are just fucking ridiculous. Yeah, all their DBs are fucking... Oh, oh my god. God. Um, the other thing, too, about them right now is, like, their offense, even though they don't have the greatest quarterback on the planet... Keenan Allen's still a great receiver. 
Antonio Gates yeah. is coming out of his retirement that literally only lasted, what, three fucking months? Yeah. To come back and play. Like, with someone like Antonio Gates, you know he's very he's a very intelligent man. And yeah, he, he you know, he, he sees Great. something in this team. Yeah. For him to have to come out of retirement, I think it's the same thing as like Marshawn Lynch with uh, the Raiders. Granted, Marshawn Lynch isn't the most intelligent man on the planet. He's a very good man, but I mean, he saw something in the team that was like, and then you know, he's like, "Hey, we're kicking you home, and then we're gonna kick you in the nuts and take you to Vegas." Yeah. And then the I mean. Honestly, too, like, I just, like, you said it was because of the defense. And, like, I agree with that. Yeah, it's because of the defense. But I think the Chargers have a better offense than the Chiefs, too. Like, granted, Keenan Allen. I I think Keenan Allen is better than Tyreek Hill. And then Tyreek Hill just it's just the injury thing. Man. Yeah, yeah. And then they added Sammy Watkins, too. The Chiefs added Sammy Watkins, too. But, I like, forgot about that. Sammy Watkins is injury prone, which also comes back to me with Keenan Allen, who's also injury prone. Mm -hmm. But then they got good, solid, speedy receivers behind him. You know, what's his name? Tyrell Williams or Tyrell, Ty, Tyler Williams? I don't know. He's fucking yeah. speedy. I know that. He's pretty solid. They got uh, what's his name? Hunter Henry, a tight end, vertical threat tight end. Um, fucking Melvin Gordon, if he can stay healthy as well, man, the Chargers are just, I'm, I'm saying, I, I feel like I'm repeating myself, because, I mean, it's true, like, that Chargers scene is like paper, man, mm -hmm. but I really feel like if their pieces stay on the field, actually, like, I think they're going to easily be the Chiefs. Mm -hmm. I, I, can, I can see that. If everyone stays on the field, I see that. Yeah, if everyone stays on the field... Chargers are winning. Right, so this is another team that's going to be like, hey, injury prone. Let's talk about the fucking Cardinals. Oh, no. My boy Sam Bradford. That is the definition of a glass man. Yeah. Um, I like Sam Bradford. I actually think he can be a really good quarterback when he's, not health uh, when he's healthy. I just... He's not healthy. That, that's the fucking problem. Um, yeah. And, it's literally why he loses all his jobs. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, the first off, the dude's making how much did he get fucking signed for? <sighs> Arizona. Fucking. I, I don't fucking know to be yeah. honest. I just remember it was a lot, and everyone was like, "Why the fuck yeah. did he get paid so much for his injury prone as he is?" Um, yeah. I don't think that the the Cardinals can win this one because of that. I've seen the Redskins defense play for years. Twenty and... million for one year, fifteen million guaranteed yeah, on a that's... one year deal with the Arizona Arizona Cardinals. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Um, I've seen the Redskins defense play year in and year out. I'm a fucking Cowboys fan. I have to watch it. Now, granted, a lot of the time they don't stop us. The last time they beat the the last time the Redskins beat the Cowboys, I was in eighth grade. But they are never out of the game, and that's the fucking scariest thing ever. Especially going to a lot of Redskins games because those, those are my favorite games to go see. I love I love Totten Redskins fans. I if there's any team in the division I hate more than anyone, it's the Skins. That's why I mean that's why it hurt me so much to watch Kirk Cousins play there because like you know Spartan to Redskin. Yeah. I'm a Michigan State fan. I fucking you know it was it was hard to see that. Couldn't hate Kirk Cousins. He's also a really good guy. And, you know you like that. <laughs> um. <God. laughs> but I I I see the Skins defense play year year in and year out, and I I think that. Some of the hits they've put on Tony Romo, Dak Prescott, even now. Uh, fuck. It was when we played, it was the Thanksgiving game last, not Thanksgiving. We didn't play them on Thanksgiving. We played the, the week after Thanksgiving last year. And they hit Dak. 
and he was out of the play for like two drives or out of the game for like two drives. So that that that's I remember scary. that. Yeah, that's scary. You know, you're it, he goes, you know, Sam Bradford goes down. You're putting a lot of faith in Josh Rosen, and it's scary because you didn't give him a lot of preseason playing time, and out of this rookie, you know, this rookie class, I think he's going to be the one that has to, he's going to have a lot of weight on his shoulders more than anyone. Um, oh, I guess. I don't, I don't know, because I feel like Baker. I mean, Baker is a backup, but I guess, yeah, right now, starting this season, yeah, yeah. I can see that. I can't argue with that. Um, another thing, too, that I'm surprised you haven't brought up yet on the Cardinals side is uh, David Johnson. Oh, yeah, I, David Johnson Dude. is coming back. David Johnson is coming another, back, but how long another, is he going to stay? Yeah, I was going to say, that's another <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah, man. That's another thing that's scary, man, because, like I said, the Redskins hit hard, man. They don't fuck around when it comes to playing defense. Yeah. They, 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 David Johnson, I love the dude, man. He's a fucking good back, good receiving back, good running back. Holy shit, he's yeah. a du- great dual threat back, but holy shit, can he stay healthy. Yeah, honestly. And it's so sad, because, like, I enjoy watching David Johnson play. I do, too, man. I really fucking do. Um, and it's just, it's just hard to watch, man, because it's it's like you know, is he gonna get hurt on this play? Is yeah, be good after honestly. This play? You know, even seeing him take just a second too long to get up is worrisome, man. Yeah, honestly. And then, uh, you know, Larry Fitzgerald. I mean, it's Larry Fitzgerald, man. Father time. He is father time. Yeah, he is. Bless that man. And then, uh, I, I don't know how I feel about the Redskins having Alex Smith. I mean, I don't know, man. Honestly, I don't He's good in the regular season, but if he makes playoffs, it's fucking joke. That's how he is. And then, yeah. Adrian Peterson signed to the Redskins too. Uh, see, I think that was more of a desperation move on on the Skins. I don't, I don't hate Adrian Peterson. I, I respect the man a lot. Um, Adrian Peterson I, is washed up. Yeah, I respect him, but he's that's washed. That's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say he's fucking washed. I think it was a desperation move. You know, your your number one bat gets hurt in the preseason. And you, you know, you you sign Adrian Peterson because you think it's a good move. I just I don't think it was the right one. Yeah, I don't think it was either. And then I mean, <laughs> their receiving core is like mediocre at best. Too. I mean, they got Paul Richardson, Josh Doxson. Um, uh, what's his name? Crowder, they got Crowder. He's like, he's like five eight, five seven. Yeah. That is not a very big guy. Um. Jordan Reed too. Yeah. Jordan if he can Reed. stay healthy. I mean, they they lost a lot of stuff. They lost Pierre Garcon to the Niners. Um, yeah. Deshaun Jackson to the Bucks. As much that as I hate to say it, because like, Deshaun Jackson was amazing. In fucking Washington, it was so I hated watching him play. I I went to I went to three different games where Deshaun Jackson uh, just had runaway touchdowns. It yeah. was just fucking scary. And you know, Kirk Cousins can fucking launch a ball, dude. So when he got the ball deep to end, then the Cowboys don't have the greatest fucking defense DBs in the fucking game. So they the point. You know, when you throw the ball to a guy and he runs maybe 10 yards and then walks backwards the rest of it. I mean, the, the Skins yeah. just don't have that anymore, man. All they, have, they don't. All they have is Jordan Reed, in my opinion, is their best receiver right now. Yeah. And I just... I, I, I can't agree with that. 
I, I think the defense is what really wins them this game. Yeah, I just feel like the Redskins are in a better position yeah. to uh, win this game than the Cardinals, to be honest. Mm -hmm. We have a 20... What is it? 2014? Or 2013? I think it was 2013. That's Super Bowl 48 matchup. The Seattle. Bears. Oh, oh shit! That was all the way. I was gonna say the fucking. Uh. Never mind. Don't worry about it. S Seattle and Denver. It's the battle of the rebuilding processes, man. Yeah. <laughs> They're f fucking. Both of them are fucking trash now. <laughs> Whose rebuilding Sorry. process is going to hurt them the most in this one? Honestly, God, the voice crack is real. I honestly feel like uh, I feel like Seattle got hit way worse than Denver. Yeah, I mean Denver just lost Peyton Manning and like a couple pieces here and there. Like, I yeah. mean, honestly, they lost I... Julius Thomas, but like Demarius Thomas is still there. I mean, he slowed down. Yeah, I, I but... think. I think the real same thing with so Emmanuel they're Sanders. rebuilding in their own right. So Seattle's kind of doing a whole rebuild on offense and on defense. Denver's yeah. kind of just doing it on offense because they never really lost yeah. their defense. I mean, granted this year yeah. they lost Akeem Talib. Uh they lost TJ Ward a couple years back. Uh they lost Danny Trevathan a couple years back too. Yeah. But I mean they've still like proven themselves, man. Yeah, that defense is still there, man. It's just the offense hasn't been there. They cut Paxton Lynch, which, thank God. <laughs> but they added Case Keenum, and that's fucking trash. I don't care who you are. Case Keenum is not a good quarterback. I am sorry. John Elway, you fucked up again. I, I, I think the same, man. I just, I don't. I don't want to take everything that happened last year away from him. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm not okay with like calling someone a fluke right off the bat. I'm gonna give it one or two games. I'm fine with it. <laughs> I know you I'm are. Fine. I can tell. <laughs> uh, I, I really want to give Case Keenum a chance, man. Cause like, holy shit, man. I, I really like after last season and the Minneapolis miracle. Damn. That I just and then the it defense, was a miracle. Like and, it literally. Then the defense added that kid. What's his name? Chubb, Bradley Chubb. Yeah. You got Von Miller teaching that man. You got Demarcus Ware still showing up to Denver training or Denver practices, which is scary because Demarcus Ware, no matter who you are, was one of the best fucking linemen. On the planet, when he yeah. played. Yeah. It was, it was fucking it scary. Was, I mean, that, that is. That, um, honestly, I, I, I see Denver. Uh, I, I see Denver, Denver winning this one. I have Denver winning. I have Denver winning, but. Nah. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Denver. The only way Seattle. I see Seattle low-key in the same position as San Francisco. They go as long as Russell Wilson's gone, man. Mm -hmm. If you stop Russell, that's it. That's game. This is they lost. I wanted to bring up. What? Russell Wilson had the most rushing yards for them last year, man. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who is their running that... back? Give this man a break. Oh, my God. Keep him healthy because that man goes down. Y'all are done. Yeah, honestly. And, like, they added that running back this year, the Penny guy. They, yeah, they added him. But, like, is he going to be good, though? Like, yeah. I mean, we've seen this so many times. We saw it with CJ Persice. We saw it with Thomas Rawls. We saw it with Eddie Lacy. We saw it with, uh. Oh, my God, Eddie Lacy, dude. Eddie, <laughs> they, ever, they thought Eddie Lacy was going to be their back. And it was like, dude, no, you can't replace Marshawn Lynch there, dude. Yeah. And then. You would have never no, lost them, Pete Carroll, if you just run it on the one. 
They lost. They lost Jimmy Graham. I mean, Jimmy Graham wasn't even part of their offense. I mean, he was starting to click last year. Low yeah. Key. Hey, he was. He was starting to find his spot, and then he just goes to Green Bay. But <laughs> they lost Paul Richardson, a deep threat. So they lost him. They lost him to to the Redskins. He mm-hmm. signed with the Redskins this off season. Uh, I mean, I mean, they have Tyler Baldwin. Lockett. Yeah, they have Doug Baldwin, solid receiver. They still have Tyler Lockett, but I mean, he's more of special teams receiver. Yeah, I mean, that's, um, that's the kind of receiver that you're gonna have to see move up this year and actually show up yeah. and show out. Yeah. Because it's like, hey, you're you're more than special teams this year. Yeah, they lost. They lost Luke Wilson a mm-hmm. year back or two to the Detroit Lions. Like, who's their who's their tight end now? I don't even know. Who's behind Jimmy Graham? That's the thing. Their line is, their line is terrible. But I mean, it's gotten better from what I've seen. Like stats wise, it's gotten better. Like they hold the pocket more, and I. It's just that the offense is a mess. But I mean, the Legion of Doom, dude. They lost Sherman they lost, with the Niner, Niner Nation. They Cam Chancellor retired. I forgot um, about that. He he retired. He's, he's not still, even playing anymore. He's still in this game. Yeah, yeah he's still in Madden. Oh, um, damn, dude. Their best player on defense is another Le'Veon. Not as bad as Le'Veon Bell, but you you know Earl Thomas wants out. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's not. It it's, until, it's there. It, it, it's, it wasn't it's publicly until yesterday out there. Yesterday, when he said he was actually gonna play Week One, he wants a trade. They won't give it to Dallas, but it's also because fucking Jerry Jones is greedy as shit. Give up the first pick, Jerry. I get it. You don't want to, but give you someone to fucking mentor these young guys, because I know Earl these Thomas young guys is are a good. Great, but let him I love mentor. I do too, man. Like, w- when he was on Texas, you know, me being the UT fan, you know, hooked him. Bro, and then I knew, like, instantly, like, when I saw him play, first play, I was like, dude, this guy, this is, he's going to be something. And fucking, I fucking love Earl Thomas. As much as I hate the Seahawks, I fucking love Earl Thomas. And it's just sad. It, it, it's just so sad just to see, like, how quickly the fucking Seahawks fell. And now the 12th man... All those fans, they're all gonna go away now. Obviously, yeah. like it's just, it's bad. They're they're in a shit. I, I, you know, I'm kind of happy because like I I hate Seattle. Like I hate Seattle. So I'm kind of happy. Like they're getting their fuck. Like fuck you, Seattle. Yeah, fuck all you Seahawks fans. This is what y'all fucking get. I mean the injuries and all that. That's not what I wish. But yeah. like y'all losing y'all's players to like other teams. People were retiring. Earl wants to leave. Things going to shit. Earl, yeah, Earl Thomas wants to leave. Like, yes, like. Everyone the knows where he Seattle. wants to go. Like, yeah, everyone knows. Everyone knows. He wants to go to Dallas. Like, it just it's not gonna happen though. Sadly, it won't. But uh, I can't wait to hear you talk about this next one. <laughs> We have the Packers. Fuck Green Bay! Bay. <laughs> uh, I uh, think nah. Aaron Rodgers' new name and everyone's phone on the Packers organization should be Khalil Mack's new bitch. <laughs> um, I don't want to talk about the Raiders yet. It's the next matchup. I can't wait to get it. I'm going to tear into them. That's my AFC team, man. I fucking love the Raiders. But, ooh, I cannot wait to tear into them here in a minute. Um... But first, let's talk about the Bears and why I think they're going to win. No! I hate Green Bay. The Bears are not going to win. The Bears are not going to win. Green Bay's taking it. No. I, I, oh. <laughs> like, Aaron Rodgers lost his weapons, man. He's got Randall Cobb and uh, Martellus. No, he doesn't have he doesn't even Martellus Bennett. Uh, fucking, uh, what's his face? He's Jimmy just Graham, Jimmy he's got Graham. Devontae Adams. I mean, and granted, granted he lost Jordy Nelson. But... Yeah, I mean, granted, Mitch Trubisky doesn't... <laughs> nah, he's trash, bro. 
Oh, uh, there's no potential that I guy. Mean, yeah, I have, I, I, I have no faith in Mitch Trubisky whatsoever, but I think their defense can really pull through. I think as literally as long as Khalil Mack is there, I think Aaron Rodgers is gonna be fucking scared, dude. Oh yeah, like I think he for sure he's gonna be cautious going into the game. I mean, like that that hit in Minnesota last year. Mm-hmm. You get hit like that, like by Khalil Mack, like. Oof, oof. Yeah, and 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 two man, with fucking Green Bay, they they do not protect Aaron Rodgers like they should. They honestly don't. Their line is like not the greatest, but I mean, it's just those quick throws that keep that yeah. keeps Aaron in the game. It's just and, like and the the dude's smart. Two three too. seconds bomb. Yeah, and he's the, super smart. The nice. dude's got great field awareness. Um. You saw it very, uh, uh, like three or four times during the fucking Cowboys games uh, in the playoffs and in the regular season last year. He counts players on the field. Yeah, he'll, he does. He looks at the team. He'll count the players. If he sees 12 men on that field, he will hurry your ass up. He doesn't care what you're doing. He's going to make sure your ass is lined up, and he's going to fucking get that penalty called, man. Yeah, he's, as much as I hate it when he does it, like, Fuck you, Aaron. But like, it's just like, goddamn, like that's so fucking smart. Like, you're getting yeah. your offense. Yeah. Five extra, like, it's just like, fuck. You know, you're getting yourself. He's so to... good. That's why yeah. I just don't like him. I don't know. I just despise Green Bay. I have, I've despised them since Brett Favre. I've just despised them when Aaron Rodgers took the torch. But like, God, are they a good team? But this year, mm, I don't know. I don't know about this year. They're also. Like, I mean, who they got on defense? Clay Matthews? An aging Clay Matthews? Clay Matthews? In, yeah, an aging Clay Matthews. Like, and who else? Haha ha Clinton Dix. He's a, he's okay safety. He's pretty good. Yeah. Um. Uh, really? I mean, oh, that's kind feel, of it. I feel to like be... they have another DB. I, I know they have another DB. I just can't name him. Fuck, dude, he's gonna kill me too, cause I know I should know his name. Mm. And then, what I gotta say about Trubisky is his best quality, like the best thing he is, like the best thing he does as a quarterback, was when he turns around and had and he hands the ball to fucking Howard to run the ball. That's his best asset. Not wrong. That's what he's good at. Just turn around. Just handing the ball off right there. Solid. That's the only thing he's solid at. And then, I feel like the Bears defense, just, it did get better, obviously, yeah. with the Colonial Mac trade. But, I mean, I just don't see him beating Green Bay. I think they're still not there yet. Like, yes, it's a big, that's like a big thing that they got at Colonial Mac, but I just still think. I think Green Bay is going to come out good this year. They're going to start off strong. Honestly, I see I think Aaron Rodgers has a fucking he is he has a fire this year. He has a purpose to play. Like his oh, receiving yeah, he's, core he's is gonna come, Yeah, he's going to come out. He's off. fired. He's fired up. He's pissed off. Like he's going to come out to play this year. Yeah, he's, he's, he's going to be out scary. Pissed off. No no doubt about it. He he's going to be fucking pissed. He lost his favorite receiver. He, he's the not getting... receiving core. He's already talked shit about the receiving core in that one interview. Yeah. He says... He, <sighs> they don't... They they honestly, like... If I was Aaron Rodgers, man... It, I would... The fact that he's so loyal to this goddamn city... It is what's yeah. keeping him there, dude. But honestly, I think Aaron Rodgers, like... If he wanted to, could be the starter on any other fucking team. Oh, yeah. Dude, he could go to Denver oh, yeah. and get Denver a fucking Super Bowl. He, he, dude, I mean, he yeah. could go anywhere. He could go to fucking Buffalo, and that would be the fucking greatest thing that ever happened to Buffalo. God. Trade him for Nathan ball. Peterman, dude. No. <laughs> put, Nathan, yeah, uh, put Nathan Peterman God. on the fucking, uh, on the Packers. And then, 
I don't even know who their fucking backup is now because they got rid of uh, what's his name, Brett Hudley. It's, they uh, they, Sean Kaiser. they don't. They... Oh Sean shit, Kaiser. that's right, it's Kaiser. <laughs> oh god. Uh, preseason MVP last year. <laughs> god damn it, Deshaun Kaiser. So much potential, all down the drain when he got drafted by the Browns. Yeah. And then the Bears added Allen Robinson too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> I give it a couple more years, and then I think the Bears will be good. I'm not saying the Bears will be good this year. I just think that they can beat them this week. I feel like the Bears are the they're the they're gonna be a similar to like Jacksonville That's if fair. they keep like if, yeah like. They're just like the poor man, Jacksonville. There you go. Yeah. I'm so ready for this next matchup. I can't wait to yell. This. Uh... Okay, Oakland. What's your fucking problem, man? I don't understand you. I love the Oakland Raiders. I really do. If I wasn't a Cowboys fan, I'd be a Raiders fan. I'd be disappointed all the time because they're the same fucking team. Oh, my God. So here's the problem I have. <laughs> you get rid of Khalil Mack. You trade for A.J. McCarron. Why did you pick up A.J. McCarron? Mediocre at best. Okay, that's who you're going to use to fucking save you if Derek Carr goes down again? No, you're fucking stupid. You're trading away all these picks. You've traded away four picks for two. Who did you get for Khalil Mack? Nothing. You just... Did they even get anything for Khalil Mack? Did they just get picks? They just got picks. You've gotten four... Picks. Off of just trades. In two weeks! In, in not even two weeks! In literally two days! It doesn't make sense, man. You trade away your best defensive player. Okay. I get it. You give you have a lot of faith in Derek Carr, and you know his receiving core. Amari Cooper is amazing, dude. And I'm not gonna take that away from him. But oh no, my sure, God, do you, do you do you really think that you can beat a team like the Rams without Khalil Mack? <laughs> it's so hard liking the Raiders. It really is. I feel like I don't have to say anything about the Raiders anymore because, like, you kind of just, like, expressed it in a way. I mean, you're more passionate about it, but, like, the Raiders are just – I saw the move, and I was just like, what are y'all doing, man? Like, uh, that was – that was a bad move, man. Like, who else do the Raiders have on defense, man? Like, it's just like – what? Why do you do what you do, man? Like John Gruden, I get it. You try. Did you really try everything? Did you really try everything like you said you did, John Gruden? Because it doesn't feel like it. It's it's really sad. Like Khalil Mack was literally individually like in the top five sacks per season individually, mm -hmm. but the team as whole was literally in the like bottom five like they were one of the worst leagues in sack and getting sacks mm -hmm. and it just shows you how much of a fucking badass he was mm -hmm. like he is not even was he is like he just mm -hmm. and he just traded for some picks like i that's just crazy man that is crazy that's a lot of faith a lot of faith in this like upcoming like these upcoming drafts like these rookie classes you're gonna let someone go like oh my god that's Oof. then the rams god they got so good this off season you can't even take that away from them dude i i can't i can't as much as <sighs> they got better they're like the eagles the Eagles got better, and the Rams got better. So, like, granted, I think the Rams got, like, I don't think the Rams are as good as the Eagles, but, like, that's another topic. Uh, 
They got better, but that melting pot, though, man. They added fucking Akeem Talib. They added Sue. They added, uh, what's his name? Marcus players, Peters. players, by the way, that have, like, shit attitudes. Yeah. Two, dude, all three. Oh, yeah, Marcus Peters. Sue has, <laughs> Marcus Peters, uh, Graham, that, he's young and can play. I give him that. Holy shit, though, is he a fucking, he's a crybaby, and he can be a cancer. Same thing as Akeem Talib. And the one thing I want to say about Akeem Talib, I feel like he's coming down, like he's going downhill. And then he gets so a when people yard fucking interception, pick six on the Cowboys, <laughs> but that's not what we're talking about. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I really feel like Akeem Talib is he's he's coming down on his career, obviously, but like, as everyone does, as everyone does, like it's nothing, it's nothing against the man, but yeah. just. I don't know how, like, he's like a wild card for me. I know Sue is going to play his ass off. I know Peters is going to play his ass off because they're both still, I mean, Sue's not that young, but, like, Peters is still young. Sue is still good. And then, Akeem Tlaib is just like the wild card. Like, if you get a good-ass Akeem Tlaib, oh, oh, my God. That's a rip in the chat, man. Like, yes, sir. that secondary... And then they're fucking. What's the safety? Who's their safety? He's fucking. He's a fucking baller too. Fuck, I can't remember his name. He's fucking good too. And then, let's just talk about. Literally, impressive as is, considered an MVP running as a fucking D tackle. And I'm like. Yes, sir. I was waiting for that. Like, the man. And he got paid too? Mm. Shit. Oh my yeah, god, the Donald, fucking Rams. Aaron, Donald, fucking... Aaron, Aaron Donald, man. And then. Then they added <sighs> the speedy Brandon Cooks to that mm, fucking yeah. that... vertical threat that Jared Goff was literally doing. It was either a pass underneath. To Todd, quick slant, or just something deep. That's literally yeah. the only three routes Jared Goff threw this year. But it fucking worked for him, man. And that's that's. And it worked for him. If it, and it's and, fucking insane. Yeah, I mean. And honestly, then you. If it's it's not broken. Don't fix it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then just that Brandon Cooks move. Like, I feel like that Brandon Cook's move was the biggest move. I don't know how you, like, out of all the moves that they made, but I feel like the biggest... I think the Dominican Sue is a pretty big move because it just makes that D-line just a little bit stronger. And... Yeah. Um, he's going to step on Jimmy G. Stop. Wilson. Nah, Jimmy G's going to fucking torch that D. Let's and, um, be real. Both Sam Bradford and Josh Rosen because they'll probably both play in the game. Yeah, that's that's true. But all three of those people are getting stepped on, and I'm not saying that I'm, I condone the Dominican Sue stepping on people. I'm just saying that it happens. <laughs> yeah, because he's also one of the most dirtiest players in the league as well. Yeah. There's some things you but... can't change, man. Just some things you can't change. Yeah. But I mean, as you can tell from like what we said, obviously the easiest winner in this matchup is gonna be the Rams. Like, oh yeah, Oakland fucked up way just, too much in this last part of the off season. Yeah, uh, it's just hard to hard to watch. But our last matchup for the week, the two teams we haven't talked about. The most impressive teams in the league for no reason. The Jets and the Lions. Yo, do we really have to talk about this matchup? <laughs> Can we just end the video here? <laughs> yeah, just, tell me who you, uh, just tell me who you had to win. Because uh, I'm pretty sure we both have the Lions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's the end of the video.
<laughs> no, that's it. <laughs> the funny thing is, like, I, I feel like people might think that's a joke, but, like, we're actually not going to talk about this. <laughs> like, that's just like, garbage. Okay, you know what? If you want, you want us to talk about it real quick, like, Garrett Blunt, Matt Patricia, boom. Better offense. Your defense isn't going to suck. You got Darius Slay. Boom. Lions win. The Jets suck. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly. I'm sorry. Jets suck. Y'all got right. nothing. That's the end of this video. We'll be back for week two. Uh, next week two is probably gonna be a live stream because this is about is gonna be over an hour video. It's probably gonna have to be in two parts, two hour long parts. Damn. <laughs> Peace out, Silence.